Hello and welcome to Reading with Ray. Um, Ray's, Ray's leaving, but <laughs> I'm here. Um, oh, I got my hand from the camera. I've got my camera upside down, I think. Um, hi, I'm Renee. I am the Children's Librarian at Salem Public Library in Salem, Ohio. Uh, Daisy Ray has left, but I'm still here with my friends Griffin. And I think Rogue's behind me too. Yeah, Rogue's taking a nap though. He doesn't care much about Inspector Flytrap. Alright, let me set the camera up here. Alright, so we are on day two of Inspector Flytrap number three. Let me get settled here. Uh, this is our kindergarten to third grade reading club. Um, online, and we are reading Inspector Flytrap, book number three, The Go to Chewed Too Much. This is by Tom Engelberger and CC Bell. This is book three in the series. It is the final. So if you are just now joining us, I'm going to suggest you go back two weeks and watch the videos from then so you know what's going on in this book. I'll just start here. Uh, you can also get a digital copy of this book on Hoopla, and I highly recommend you do that so you know what's, so you can follow along. Uh, CC Bell is an amazing illustrator, and it's really hard for me to show you some of her great comics and pictures. Um, I try, but it's it's hard to with this. So it's much better if you can actually see them yourself. So get, go get a digital copy of it through Hoopla. Um, Inspector Flytrap, the goat who chewed too much. So big thanks to Tom Engelberger and CC Bell and Abrams Publishing for letting us use their book for our virtual book club. And I think Daisy Ray is coming back. She had to go get a drink. Um, you here now? Oh, yep, here she is. You ready for book club? Yeah, do your book club. She just woke up from a nap, so she should be ready to do book club. Yeah. All right. Okay, so yesterday... We started a new mystery. Let's see if we can remember what happened. Okay, so there was a missing invitation to a dog show for a participant, but Flytrap didn't think that one was important, so he, you know, whatever. That is that is not a big deal mystery to him. Um, but then somebody stole the giant solid gold encrusted with rubies, diamonds, and moonstone pickle paperweight which yeah still I don't quite understand why you would want a paperweight like that but Zuzu Poodle Doo did and spent a lot of money to get it and then somebody stole it and the clue that we had was that the person had to have got on the train while it was moving and then back off so between the stations and the person had big claws um bigger and harder tougher than a dog claw so we don't think it was a dog what could it be what has big sharp claws that could like actually dig into to the wood of the floor that's interesting but we we ended yesterday with flytrap saying aha i interrupted i have solved the world's greatest mystery so let's see what he has figured out Chapter five. Who did it? shouted the count Countess Zuzu Poodledoo. Who did it? murmured the butler, MC Funky Foot, very properly. Who did it? demanded Sergeant Sniff. Yum, yum, this coal is delicious, said Nina. Nina, stop eating the coal. It's a precious natural resource, I shouted. Would you stop shouting at that goat and tell us who did it? said everybody. Well, I admitted. I can't tell you exactly who did it but i can give you a description i guess that's better than nothing said sergeant sniff taking out a notebook go ahead first i said the criminal must be very fast to be just a blur on the camera hmm said sergeant sniff looking around the train station second the criminal must be very nimble to dodge all those laser beam alarms hmm said sergeant sniff gazing in the general direction of nina and third the criminal must be very sure-footed to jump on and off of a moving train. Hmm, said Sergeant Sniff, staring right at Nina. And finally, I said, the thief is not a dog, but is an animal with large, tough 
claws or even hooves. Hmm, said Sergeant Sniff, glaring into Nina's big brown eyes. Oh no, I shouted. What's the problem, asked Nina, and she very smoothly jumped off the locomotive, nimbly took another bite out of the butler's hat while in midair and sure-footedly landed on her hooves. You are under arrest for the theft of the golden pickle paperweight, hollered Sergeant Sniff, snapping a pair of hooves cuffs around Nina's front legs. Big steal, said Nina. Did Nina do it? I don't think so. She's She's been with Flytrap. All right, part two, Inspector Flytrap in The Slow and the Furious. Oh, apparently their, their jails are pickle-shaped. The sign says, free Nina. I don't think Nina did it. I mean, she eats a lot of stuff, but I don't think she would s steal the paperweight, would she? Oh no. It was a big steal, I mean deal. A whole squad of police officers showed up with police cars, a police helicopter, and a police boat. Since there was no water nearby, they had to tow the boat behind one of the cars. Okay. Worst of all was the police goat wagon. They loaded Nina in it and took her away to jail. Look, poor Nina's going to jail in the goat wagon. Nina, I'll solve the crime. Don't eat their police hats. They don't like that. I'll get you out of jail, I called. And in a moment, it was all over. Sergeant Sniff and the police were gone. The Countess and her butler were gone. And of course, Nina was gone. Everybody was gone, except for a sloth reading a newspaper. We've seen a sloth before, right? She said the sloth slowly, I'd call this one of the world's greatest mysteries. You're right, I cried, and I, Inspector Flytrop, s swear that I will not stop until I have solved it. Okay, said the sloth slowly, see you later. Oh no, I cried. I just realized that I can't solve the mystery. The criminal is too smart for you? The sloth asked. Of course not, I yelled. But without Nina, I can't go anywhere. I could push you, said the sloth slowly. Really, I asked? That is so kind of you. Sure, said the sloth slowly. Where do you want to go? I realized that I didn't know where to go. I needed to track down the actual gold pickle thief. And the real gold pickle thief was obviously a master criminal. But master criminals are really good at hiding, which is what makes them master criminals. I had gotten the world's greatest mystery I had always wanted but now I had no idea who did it, how to find them, or even where to start looking. Chapter 7. My cell phone rang. Hello, I said, Inspector Flytrap speaking. This is Coco Dodo, said a crazy voice. I need your help. Do you guys remember Coco Dodo? He owned the bakery that smelled really bad because of the, the pirate shoe on the roof. Yeah. I thought you were mad at me, I said. No, no, never again. Well... Not if you can help me, said Coco Dodo, sounding desperate. Last night, a master criminal stole all of my gourmet cookie sprinkles. Oh no, the sprinkles are the best part. The chocolate ones or the rainbow ones, I asked. All of them! I'll be right there, I said. Aha, now I was on the trail of the master criminal. Come, Mr. Sloth, the game is afoot. Please take me to Coco Dodo's cookie shop as fast as possible. It's a gourmet emergency. And the sloth started to push me. Really, really slowly. I know, I have always complained about Nina pushing me too fast, but too slow is actually worse. After 35 minutes, we had gone only a half a block from the train station. Wow, that's really slow. We passed a TV store that had a big TV on display in the window. On the TV was a turkey news reporter standing outside of the city jail. 
This is Greta Von Hoppenstop reporting for CNNNNNN News. I am here at the city jail trying to get a comment from Nina the Goat, who has just been arrested for the theft of the century. Greta held her microphone up to a barred window. Nina the Goat, you could be sent to jail for the rest of your life for stealing the golden pickle paperweight. Do you have any comment? Nina stuck her tongue out from between the bars. Big deal, she said. A message flashed across the bottom of the screen. Tonight at 11, when goats go bad. That's a bad joke. All right, let's see. We'll do one more chapter for today. Chapter 8. While I was still on my way to Coco Dodo's, and it's taken him a long time to get there because the sloth is pushing him, my phone rang again. Hello, I said, Inspector Flytrap speaking. This is Lulu Emu, said a beautiful voice. I thought you were mad at me, I said. No, no, never again. Oh, Lulu is the one um, that worked at the museum in the first book where the, had all the, where the, the mis oh, the mystery of the, the booger. Yeah. Well, not if you can help me, said Lulu Emu. Last night, a master criminal stole our most priceless painting. The Mona Spaghetti? No. That's not priceless anymore ever since your goat ate the spaghetti part. Oh, yeah, I said. The stolen painting is a masterpiece by Michelangelo called the Sistine Chapstick. Okay. I'll be right there, I said. Aha! Now I was on the trail of the master criminal. But now the trail was longer and my sloth seemed to be getting slower. Let's go, Mr. Sloth. Please take me to the art museum instead, as quickly as possible. It's an art emergency. The sloth turned me around and started to push me in the other direction. Really, really slowly. We passed by the TV store again. Oh, not that way. The other way for crying out loud. Get up already. That's the sloth. He's taking a nap. On the TV, Greta von Hoppenstock was still standing in front of the jail with her microphone. Nina the Goat, the Supreme Court has just ruled that you must stay in jail forever and ever and ever. Do you have a comment? Big deal, said Nina. A message flashed, acro flashed across the bottom of the screen. Breaking news. Goat says, same thing again. Um, that is where we are going to stop. I am almost positive that that is not how... The criminal justice system works um but yeah we're gonna let it go because it's kind of silly to keep the goat in jail uh <laughs> um our activity for today is we are gonna look at the uh, on the on the internet we're gonna look up the real Sistine uh chapel not the chapstick um uh, it's actually a very beautiful painting so we're gonna take a look at that um uh, what would this, I, I'm just curious about the flavor of a Sistine chapstick. Hmm. That could be really interesting. Um, so we will start, pick up again tomorrow. Uh, what, what is missing so far? The, the pickle, paperweight, the sprinkles, and a painting. This, I have no idea what those are in common. Why would this master criminal want those three things? I don't know. So we're going to need to keep reading to find out. So join me again tomorrow and we will see what if Flytrap can figure all of this out and get Nina out of jail. Uh, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Um, looks like maybe we got a little bit of sunshine out there. So go out and enjoy it if you can. It's still a little chilly. So make sure you wear a coat. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.